Hello, this is a video to demo Primate. Primate is an app that I made to connect information from the Leap Motion Controller to Grasshopper, which is this graphic algorithm editor in Rhino. Rhino is a 3D design software. The Leap uh, brings in hand data. I'm going to turn this on and just show you um, with a simple grid how this works. Um, this demo is showing a grid that is controlled by the number of fingers that I have above the leap. And so you'll notice that as my fingers move, the grid moves. If I have a constant number of fingers still above the leap, then it changes the number of rows in that grid. Um, obviously, the grid is also changing side to side. Um, that's happening because in this grasshopper definition, the uh, palm speed is also being read. And that palm speed is being fed into the number of cells in the grid horizontally. Um, so that's just a very simple demo to show you how these components from Primate work in Grasshopper in a kind of real-time uh, change and interaction that you can start to model in three-dimensional software. Um, so these number of fingers are changing, and that's getting read into the number of rows at the same time that the speed and the position of the palm is getting read. Uh, so this is actually all happening in three dimensions, even though we're just looking at a simple 2D grid. So if I change the perspective, you can see that this right here, this pointer, is also tracking my palm, and it's tracking my palm in three dimensions. I'm using my mouse at the same time, um, because with Primate, the information from Leap is getting pulled directly into Grasshopper through C-sharp components, so you can use your mouse at the same time. I'll be posting further videos and more information at the bottom of this video. And please add any comments or any questions also uh, below this video. For more information, this is on a timer which I'm going to turn off now. For more information, you can go to my website, which is mcewenstudio.com. That's M-C-E-W-E-N studio.com. If you go to research primate geometry, you'll see any updated information about primate. And this is a preview screen grab of the next video that I'll be posting with more technical examples about using the data that you get from Leap, the kind of hand gesture data and position data, uh, to drive things like vector field charges and also interpolation of curves and, and any other geometry that you can work with in NURBS, uh, NURBS non-uniform uh, rational basis blinds being pretty much any geometry you can think of. So again, that's McEwenStudio.com. Um, primate. You can also email primate at mcewanstudio.com. Thanks.